Welcome back to the 13 Films of Halloween, I'm Adam J. Now, when I released the trailer for the 13 Films of Halloween, I really just had one question flooding my inbox left and right. What the fuck is Among Friends? Well, when I was looking for horror movies to review, I decided to look up what Danielle Harris was doing recently, since I made such a big deal last year about what a great young actress she is. So much to the point that when I witnessed her death scene in the cinematic abortion that was Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, I had this reaction. Oh, not Danielle Harris! Anyone but her! I don't give a crap about anyone else in this fucking movie, but not Danielle! <laughs> it's gonna be okay. God, now who's being a little bitch? I wanna die! <laughs> yeah, I think it goes without saying, I love Danielle Harris. Now, I was originally going to review Hatchet 3, but I never reviewed, nor do I remember much of the first Hatchet movie, and I've never seen the second one. So I figured it'd be pretty pointless to review a film from a franchise that I'm not that familiar with. So I did some digging and came across this film. Among Friends, however, does not star Danielle Harris. In fact, she's barely in it and only has a short cameo alongside another one of my favorite actors. A cameo that I will not reveal in this review because it's incredibly fucking funny. So why did I choose this one? Because while this film is not blessed with the starring power of Danielle Harris, the film is blessed with the directing power of Danielle Harris. This is Danielle Harris's directorial debut. Now, to be fair, she did co-direct a horror anthology movie called Prank back in 2008, alongside other horror favorites, Heather Langenkamp and Ellie Cornell, but this is the first film she has directed on her own, so I consider it her debut. Among Friends begins when a group of friends arrive at another friend's house in a limo for a murder mystery dinner party. However, while everything seems normal at first, the tension starts building and the night takes a dark turn as these people are drugged and unable to move from their chairs, as they are forced to watch their darkest secrets caught on film. Secrets that could destroy their friendships and make them see each other for who they really are. I have to say right away that this was a damn good idea for a horror film. I mean, let me ask you this. How many times have you suspected a friend was keeping a dark secret from you? How many times have you said to yourself, Oh, well, they're my friends. They would never hurt me or stab me in the back. And just how many times has that statement turned out to be nothing more than wishful thinking? This movie basically takes any amount of paranoia you may have had towards a good friend or acquaintance and brings that paranoia to fruition. Make no mistake here, the things we see these people do on camera are, not to give too much away, unforgivable. It was rather interesting to see a movie that had these characters dealing with the dark secrets and betrayals of those closest to them. What makes it work is just how well the characters are set up. In the opening, they are all peppy and upbeat, treating each other like royalty. We see just how happy they are to be in the same place together, and seeing how that gets turned around later on with all of them wishing they were anywhere else is not only tragic, but in many respects heartbreaking. Danielle Harris really builds up the tension and allows these characters to progress in a way that feels authentic and natural. Now there is another thing, whenever the characters ask the hostess, played by screenwriter Alyssa Lobbit, a question, they have to give her something in return. Yeah, you can use your imagination for that. But either way, this is bringing up the question, it's been asked by me in my inbox, do I think that this movie is torture porn? No, I, I really don't. I did not see this as torture porn at all. Just because a film has torture in it does not make it torture porn. The Hostel films are torture porn. Funny Games is torture porn. Last House on the Left, The Human Centipede films, and Wolf Creek are torture porn. Torture porn would imply, in my opinion, that a lot of the movie is nothing more than physical and bloody torture, much like all the films I just mentioned. Among Friends is not that. Most of the torture done to these characters is purely psychological, and that made for a more refreshing experience. Sorry, Eli Roth, but useless nothing characters getting cut to bits for no reason whatsoever just doesn't cut the mustard. Among Friends is like the love child of Saw and April Fool's Day. It revolves around the psychological as well as physical torture from the antagonist, forcing her victims to reveal dark secrets that they would have otherwise kept hidden, just like Saw. And the story begins with a group of good friends going to a private residence for a murder mystery dinner party, just like April Fool's Day. 
and just like both of those films, Among Friends benefits from having a rather cool twist in the end. Hell, even the movie poster for Among Friends resembles the poster from April Fool's Day! But, you know, I digress, it's probably just a big coincidence. For a low-budget picture, the actors all do fine jobs. Brianne Davis, in particular, has several cool scenes where her character Jules is tripping on cocaine and hallucinating. But, again, I won't spoil what she hallucinates because it's hilarious. A.J. Bowen is another actor who surprised me in this movie. I didn't care for the movie You're Next, and unlike in that film where Bowen's character was incredibly easy to figure out, here he is playing a character whose reveal is rather unpredictable and unexpected. And the same can be said for Dana Dari as Lily. Wait till my parole officer hears about this. <laughs> yes, I remember that awesome show, Try Not to Faint. The film also has a cameo from Jason Voorhees himself, Kane Hodder, playing a limo driver who insults the people he drives. Again, won't spoil what he says, it's funny, but I digress. Now, did I have any real problems with the movie? Well, not many to be honest. Some problems I had I really can't fault the film for because of its low budget. In fact, how did Daniel Harris describe the budget of this film again? Girlfriends, Alyssa Lopez and Jennifer Blanc were involved and brought it to me and said, I've got this movie and would you want to do it? We're shooting in like a week and a half. I was like, oh my God, how many days are we shooting? We're shooting for 10 days and how much money do we have? A toothpick and a rubber band. And you're like, oh my God, yes, sign me up. That sounds amazing. I want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. My big problem with the film was the ending. I don't mean the twists at the end, those were awesome. I mean, just the final moment of the film. The film didn't really end as much as it just, well, stopped. I expected a lot more to happen given all the good buildup. I mean, try to imagine if Saw had ended just before John Kramer stood up in the room. Yeah, that's about the best analogy I can give. I didn't really find the ending to be bad per se, I just thought it was a bit rushed and underdeveloped. Not only that, but the opening of the film where all the friends are arriving in the limo together was a bit too MTV for my taste. Watch the film, you'll know what I'm talking about. Other than that, Among Friends was a damn good horror flick. I like independent horror films when they are done right like this. I don't like them when they are done stupid like The Purge and You're Next. Among Friends finds the right tone between horror and fun to make this a strong directorial debut for Danielle Harris. It's well acted, well written, and most of its shortcomings seem to be nothing more than budget issues. In the end, I'm giving Among Friends an A-. I mean, really folks, can you think of one directorial debut that came out in 2013 from a great actor that was better than this? I haven't seen that yet. I'm, I'm not proud. Eight friends. One of your friends is missing. Where's Lily? Ooh, it's part of the murder mystery we have to solve, isn't it? We'll play a little game. There's evidence to be found to find it. Think like a killer. Gnarly. That's nasty. Found it! Where every guest has a secret. If it's spying on us, are you ready to see your best friends behind closed doors? Never stop it! Lily. Yes. Lily. What did you do to her? Now, you will notice that you can't move your body from the waist down. And every secret has a price. What is going on? Where is she? This is where the game really gets going. For every question I answer, you have to give me something. I get to give you a haircut. What? It's still blame. What did you do? Among Friends. Sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape!